Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. So I thought that it would be super fun to go to Dollar Tree, pick up a bunch of new items that they got. They have all of the Valentine's Day stuff out. If you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram, definitely check me out over there because I post over there very frequently, most of the time, multiple times a day. So that is a way to connect with me more often. And like I said, went to Dollar Tree. I do a lot of shop with me's on TikTok. They are so fun to film and create. So I'm doing those and I picked up all these items that I want to share with you guys. So I thought that it would be really fun to do a Dollar Tree haul and then I will DIY some of these items. Now I'm not going to tell you guys which items. It's going to be a surprise. So keep that in mind. Also keep it in mind that my kids are off break. Isabella is always with me, but my kids are off break. My helper's here. We have a house full and it's a little bit loud. So if you guys hear noises, whatever, it just is what it is. I'm a mom and my kids are here. So anyway, let's start off with the, you guys, they are watching us. Dollar Tree is watching the YouTubers, the haulers. I'm telling you because look at this. Seriously, a book stack, a faux book stack. So this one says hugs and kisses and it has the um, black and white buffalo check ribbon wrapped around it. It is red, pink, and light pink. Now the back is unfinished, but nonetheless, it's super cute, especially for a dollar. Now the lighting isn't great right here in my kitchen, you guys. I can't wait. In my new house, the lighting is amazing, but here the lighting stinks. So it just is what it is. I didn't want to pull out my big ring light and all that. So anyway, okay, moving on to the next one. This one's really cute. It's the same concept. Oh, this one says hugs and kisses. Love you always. And then this one says be mine forever. Lots of love. And they both have different fonts, different colors. Um, same same concept, same bows, different colors, different sayings. But I like the white one, how it's like faux wood grain. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Love that. Okay, so there's those. Moving on to like the word plaques. They had, I don't know if they had these last year. Let me know in the comments. But one says love, one says XOXO. And it's that faux wood. This is that MDF. And then it's got the galvanized in the front. I thought these would be cute for tiered trays, little shelves, anything like that. Next, I picked up, now there are two different ones. I will pop up on the screen here in a minute, the other one. The other one is a red heart with a different saying. Um, this one's pink and it says, my love. I figured that if I did not use that, I could put that in like the girls' room. In the new house, they'll be sharing a room. So they'll be able to pick out decor and colors together. I'm so excited for them. Uh, moving on, I'm gonna try not to edit this, so. You guys, this was my favorite item. You guys can let me know what is your favorite item in the comments down below. Also, if you guys have messy hair and you don't care, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, like what are you actually doing with your life? I do so many fun things here on my channel and I would love for you to be a part of that. So just click that red subscribe button and then tap the bell and all. That way you're notified every single time I upload. So anyway, moving on to my favorite item. <gasps> Look at these, you guys. These don't even need made up. Like seriously, look at those. These don't even need made up for a dollar. They're heavy, they're painted all the way around. And then there's also the red one, like really? Okay, moving on. Now there's, most of this is like signs and little decor pieces, so keep that in mind. Next are the faux jars. You guys know that they've been coming out with these every season. Let me try to do it like this. Okay, so um, I, I can't remember. I don't think they had a different color. If they did, I will insert that here. But I know, I'm pretty sure all there, there was was three. So the red one says hugs and kisses. 
with the little galvanized at the top and the jute bow. Again, you guys, for a dollar, you cannot beat that. So there's the red one. Here is All You Need Is Love is the pink one with the red glitter, that stinking glitter. Again, with the galvanized piece and the jute. And for the like magenta one, this one says, you can't really read the glitter part because it kind of blends in, but it says home is wherever we are together. And I actually have a sign that I made when we redid my living room that I made with my Cricut. I had just bought my Cricut. That was like right when I was getting into decorating this entire house was when I first started my channel. So really thank you guys because you guys sparked my creativity in this house. And you guys really helped me to decorate this home. So for that, I am so greatly appreciative. So to start off on DIY number one, I take these jars and I went to Walmart and got this glass and tile scraper set. You guys, this thing works so good for stickers. So if you're at your local Walmart, check the tool section for a tile and glass scraper kit. If I can find a picture, I'll pop it up for you. But anyway, I take off the stickers from the back of my jars and I also take off the jute from the front as well as the galvanized piece. Next, I take these napkins that I got from a different haul from Dollar Tree. If you guys want to see another haul DIY, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to bring that to you. But I just make these napkins one ply, so I pull them apart, I lay them over my surface, and then I cut them down to size. Next, I paint both of them. I wish that I would have done the other one a different color. Um, I wish I would have just done them both white. So if you do this, um, you can paint them whatever you like. But in the end, this particular one ended up being more orange than pink. And I think the napkin and the um, pink color together made it more of a peach color. But if you like that, that's totally up to you. Um, but look how cool this technique is. So once you paint it and it totally dries, so I used a blow dryer because you guys know I'm totally impatient. You then take plastic wrap and lay it over your surface. You also take your napkin and lay it over your surface as well. And then you're gonna wanna take a heat press and an iron or an iron, whatever you have on hand, and you're gonna melt this together essentially. Definitely make sure you keep checking it and that it's adhered. I did not make sure the first one was adhered very well, so when I used my transfer, it did come up, but no big deal. Um, and I just love this technique. And then once you're done, all you have to do is sand down the edges. So because I was using this transfer, I wanted to show you why it's in the shape of a jar. We also have jar cutouts. Look how cute these are. I'll leave all the Chalk Couture products that I use in the link in the description box. If you also want some more info on how you can earn money crafting, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to give you that info as well. But I also showed you all the other surfaces we have. And a lot of our surfaces, they do have a coordinating transfer. So I just transferred on the colors that I like. I pulled it up to reveal the magic per usual and then you always want to wash your transfers right away that way you can use these over and over again I know I'm gonna get questions how many times Chalk Couture claims 12 but us designers who take care of our stuff have gotten upwards of 50 uses out of each one so it just depends how you store them how you take care of them and all that good jazz I can also do a video on how I um, store them as well so leave that in the comments but once you um, are done you take it to your sink in warm water and spray it down then you're gonna take a board eraser which is also on the site they're really cheap um, they're kind of like magic erasers but they don't have any chemicals and then you're gonna wipe down the front and the back and then the front again under your running water then lay it sticky side up and take a paper towel dry it trust me you won't mess it up and then lay it sticky side up to dry and then return it to your backer once you're done 
Now for the next little jar, I did the exact same thing. I took the jute and I glued that back to the top and then I just kind of took a few little embellishments that I had laying around and I had these little um, wooden hearts from Dollar Tree, again from my second haul. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, I took those, glued an, a natural and a pink one together. I also took this XOXO ribbon that I had from Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree last year, made a simple little bow, and then I also transferred on my little Be Mine from my Valentine's Minis Chalk Couture, and again, all of those links for my Chalk Couture and my Amazon store, all of my links are now in one place in the description box and you will see my link tree. It will say links all in one place. So I did just kind of want to give you both angles. That way you could see it two times. And just look how cute these turned out, you guys. I love the way that these look. I love the middle jar that is just chalk couture. And I also love the ones that are just Dollar Tree as well. So let me know in the comments down below which jar is your favorite. Now let's get back into the haul. All right, moving on, we have this cute little delivery truck. Now, because we're moving and I'm trying to like weed out all the stuff I don't need, I did just leave the items that I knew I wouldn't use, but I knew I wanted a truck. This one says hugs and kisses, fast and free delivery. It's got little cherries, little lips. Look how cute that is. And I'll insert a clip here of the other little truck. Okay, next we have this cute little love-a-meter, love-ometer, however you like to say it. And I do believe there was another one of these as well. But this one says, love-ometer, be mine, XOX. I guess you'll do. <laughs> I prefer my pets. And hey, that would be uh, my helper's choice. Huh, Zach? Yeah, it would. <laughs> I prefer my pets. But yeah, it's, I think it's so cute. This um, little arrow moves. So super cute. Now, I probably would like to redo that. And this is just like per usual one of those... It's pretty much just a sticker on there. So if you heat this up, nine times out of 10, this is gonna peel right up. Or you could heat this up, take it off, and paint over this side. That way you have a double-sided sign. Moving on to the bigger signs. Actually, no, wait, I'm gonna wait on that one because this one is so cute, I can't wait to show you. Look how stinking cute this envelope is. And this actually really works. So you can put a little love note in there. Um, my husband and I don't really do presents. This past Christmas we did. We had no idea we were moving. So if we knew we were moving, we probably wouldn't have. But we really don't do presents just because we get what we need on a daily basis. But I think this is really cute for somebody who doesn't really like money spent on them. You could put a little note in there, you know, a card, um, a IOU, something really cute. You can paint this, make it your own. I really, I think these are really cute. And these, uh, there was one more pattern. I think it was a solid pattern. I meant to grab it and of course I forgot. Everybody loves gnomes, right? There were also more patterns of this. So whenever I say there's more patterns, I'll just pop up on the screen the other patterns um, to show you guys. So I thought this one was so cute. It's got the three little gnomes with the galvanized sign in the back. It's got a cute little burlap bow. You guys, like seriously they really pay attention to what we like and what the trends are. So there's that one. Again, I'll pop up on the screen what the other ones look like. This one I thought is super cute too. I've never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree. You can let me know in the comments down below if you have, but I certainly haven't. <gasps> look, you guys. I love this so much. 
So it doesn't say love. I think the heart is supposed to be the love. Like love, the key. Oh no. The key to happiness is love. Duh. <laughs> I was reading it backwards. Look how cute that is. This um, key is really good size. I can see um, definitely redoing this somehow, some way. And it's, it's really good size. Like, look how big that key is. Really good size. Next, we have these little tag signs. They do have four different patterns. I only picked up two because, you guys, I have so many different tag signs that I don't know what to do with as it is. But these were so cute that I had to have them. So, you know how that goes. Again, with the cute little um, burlap and pink ribbons. I believe all of them had that. This one says, love you always, with, of course, the famous truck. You also have the I like you a lot with the bicycle. I did a bicycle with my chalk couture last year that said better together. It was actually a double trike. It was so cute. Um, and that was a hit. So I'm sure um, this bicycle sign will be a hit as well. And this one is, this one is more like pink. The Buffalo check is pink. The wording is pink. This one is more red. So the buffalo check is red. Um, and then the wording is red with a little bit of pink. So I think that's the theme. Like two of them are more pink themed. And two of them are more red themed. So I'll pop up. I will pop up on the screen a, pic, a clip of all of them here. Okay, next we have this kissing booth sign. I thought this was so, so cute because look at it. It's a little movie ticket or shaped as a movie ticket. It says kissing booth, 25 cents with the little hand per kiss with the little kisses and the hearts. How stinking adorable for a dollar. So I picked up two because they were so uniquely shaped. So I'll probably keep one as is and then maybe do over one. They had two different patterns of these. Um, I just got the plain one because how cute is that? And I can put chalk couture on this. But they also had one that had red wording that said like love always or something like that. Again, I'll pop that up for you. This was the, la the last section of signs that I went to. I kind of went backwards in the store this day. There were so many different signs in this section. Again, I will show you guys all of the signs in the section, but I personally only picked up three. So I picked up the love you to the moon and back. Look how pretty that is as is with the wood grain and the flowers. I thought that was so cute. Next is this one. It says follow your heart. Now I personally don't like this one. I would probably redo it, but I still think it's cute. It's got that wood grain at the top, wood grain at the bottom. This is pink. And this is white or faux wood grain, I should say. And I think that is so super cute. And then you can flip it over and do a double sign if you want. So many options. This is the pink and white shiplap. It's like wood grain. Really cute. Love makes a house a home. Love it. Again, I would probably redo this. I don't know. This one's really cute because of the shiplap. Who knows? We'll see what I do with those. To start off, D 
DIY number three, obviously we take one of the round signs from Dollar Tree and take the hanger and the stickers on the back off. Now this is that glass and tire tile scraper kit that I was telling you guys about. It comes with a few different things. So it comes with this handheld scraper or this handheld like flat edge scraper and then this one is for tile I believe and it works so good I love the bigger one I love them both but the bigger one works super good so next I take out my um, Valentine's Day transfers and choose the one that I want all four of those sayings come in um, one big transfer and then you cut them up I then marked where I wanted my red to be in the middle painted that I then let that dry and then painted the top and bottom black and once that was dry then I went in with my painters tape to create some pinstripes at the top and bottom with my cotton Dixie Belle chalk paint. Once that was dry then the fun part is peeling back that painters tape and really revealing those beautiful lines. Once I had all of my paint done, then I go in with my transfer. I made sure to fuzz it first, meaning put a little bit of fuzz on the back of it. That way it doesn't completely stick when you pull it up. Then you're gonna wanna lay it down on your surface and use your chalk paste to um, transfer that image on. Now, don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure that you mix up your paste. I forgot to mix mine and there was a little dry chunk in it, so it caused the rest of the paste not to go through that one part but literally no big deal you guys I just washed it really good I dried it and then laid it right back down and finished transferring on that image now I don't normally do these types of bows but for this project I didn't really have one specific bow that I felt would look exactly right with this sign I'm not really into Valentine's Day decor that much, but I definitely wanted to partake in DIYs this year. So I just went to my craft room, grabbed all the black and red and natural color ribbon that I could find, and then I wanted to make one of these cool little messy bows. So all you do is just cut a bunch of pieces, you lay them down in an X from largest to smallest, then you're going to take a piece of jute and tie it in the middle cutting it in the back where the excess strands are and then you just kind of fluff up the ribbon and you can cut your edges into dovetails if you like that's what I did but it's to your personal preference and you just cut until your eyes are happy again I took those little wooden hearts from Dollar Tree glued two of them together a natural wooden one as well as a red one and then glued that right in the middle of my bow Next, I dry brushed some of my white Waverly chalk, or my actually my cotton Dixie Belle. I'm so used to using Waverly, I always say that first. Um, but I used my Dixie Belle to dry brush, and then last but not least, all I did to make a hanger was put some hot glue on the back of my sign. I took a piece of jute and doubled it up and then glued it to the back. So that's another thing you can use your chalk couture squeegees for is to, um, make your glue dry really quickly so for this sign on the hanger i just kind of put the glue down and then put my squeegee into it smashed it down and then it made that very flat on the back for the hanger so the hanger is going to adhere much better now so anyway you guys look how cute this sign turned out i love it so much again I don't really do the messy bows, but I'm definitely going to do them more often because I just absolutely love the way that this turned out, and I know you'll let me know what you guys think. Last item, if you guys are still here, leave me a pink heart in the comments. You guys are the real original gangsters. <laughs> I always say you guys are the real OGs, and then people are like, what's that mean? So I figured I'd let you know. Um, anyway. It's just a play on a movie, that's all. But last but not least are these cute little candy jars. I figured I could put little candies in them for my girls. They could have fun dispensing the candy. It definitely works. I don't know if I have candy small enough to show you. If I do, I'll definitely show you guys. Bloop. <laughs> Bye. Bloop. Bye. Bloop. <laughs>
<laughs> okay friends, so this is another little fun DIY. This one did not take long at all. I had my kiddos get involved. So the six slits and mini M&Ms are literally the only candies that will work in this little candy dispenser from Dollar Tree. I even had my husband help me look. We went to Walmart and looked through all the candies and six slits, uh, small M&Ms are the only ones that work. So uh, like I said, I got the kids involved. I had my oldest one cut the tops off and then her and the baby just kind of put them into the candy dish. They had so much fun. And then the next day, I did the same thing for the second one and then I also wanted to show you guys how cute the little mini M&Ms looked in here as well. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention that if you put this upright into something, it's just much easier to fill. So I had that little box left over from Dollar Tree and it worked perfectly for this. So let me know in the comments down below if there's any candy you can think of. Other than Nerds, that was the only other thing I thought of that would work. But if you guys can think of anything that would work in these, let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm having so much fun doing these hauls. I figured if I had the items, why not show you? I also hope that you guys enjoyed this type of video where I kind of do a haul and DIY. I had a lot of fun making it. So let me know in the comments if you like this type of content. Also, last but not least, don't forget to do all the youtube -y things. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well because those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Also, again, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Become part of my family. I would love to have you and I would love to show you all the fun things that I have in store for 2022. So as always, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely gorgeous and amazing. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Again, Happy New Year.